Welcome everyone to our session. Today, we are here to speak with you about what are the strategies, what are the secrets for you to earn your CFE credential in 2023. Someone will ask me, Iyad, is there a changes between 2023 and the years before? The answer is yes. In 2023, we have so many experience with delivering this course, the Certified Fraud Examiner, over the last 10 years, where we are going to share that with you today and give you the best techniques and strategy that can help you uh, study and understand the topics and at the same time pass the CFE exam. So the first thing before we get started, which is very interesting, someone will call me and say, Iyad, I am interested in taking the CFE, Certified Fraud Examiner, but is the certificate related to me? Because, you know, I don't know, the fraud, what is the fraud? What, uh, what is this issue? I ask him, which department you are in? He say, well, I'm in internal audit. Is this a, a certificate that's relevant to me? Or he will say, well, I'm in compliance or I'm in HR, or I work in actually accounting, or I work in a, in a bank as a teller. And the uh, idea here where I tell him, fraud is not about money and fraud is not about finance because so many individuals say, yeah, I'm really interested in taking the CFE, but I'm not good in accounting and finance. I have no financial background. Would I pass this exam? So let's define what is the definition of fraud. What is fraud? Fraud is not about someone stealing money. Fraud is a question of trust. When someone will violate your trust, if I give you a promise and I will tell you that if you study with us, you will pass the exam. And then you study with me and you fail in the exam. So I violated your trust. I give you a false promise. If I give you a promise, if you use these very nice bills, which is called ashukanda, I don't know if you use them, your hair will grow and you'll be much better. And if you use these bills and at the end, your hair is keep falling down, in that way, I violated your prom and the promise. So fraud is not about someone stealing money. Yes, it can be stealing money because in that way, I'm telling you, in our organization, we have 50 million, but when you check the bank, you discover we have 1 million. So the same, I violated your trust. So the definition of fraud is violation of trust. It can't be related to money. It can't be related to material statement. It can be related to financial record. It can be related to a, a, a position of trust, someone doing corruption, someone doing conflict of interest, accepting bribe. Someone is violating your trust. But for fraud to happen, the first step is you need to trust the person. Because if you don't trust the person, there is no fraud. Nothing will happen, right? So the main idea, we have individuals inside our organization. They are in position of trust. They are the chief financial officer, the CEO, the chief executive officer. Or in some organization, we call it the guy who is cheating everyone, right? The guy who is manipulating the record in this corrupted organization. And our role as individuals working in this profession is to be able to catch individuals who are violating the law, who are violating our trust who are doing deception, who are doing unethical practices. And this is what is the idea about the certified fraud examiner. This certificate that you will earn is about understanding how can I look at the different fraud schemes and be able to uncover these different fraud schemes. So when you are studying the main objective, you need to understand how can individuals do fraud? How can someone actually manipulate our controls manipulate our fraud risk management, manipulate the systems that we have for them to be able to do fraud, to do corruption, to do social engineering, to hack our system, to do cyber crime, to, to uh, uh, steal money from our banks, all the different techniques that can be done related to individuals who are trying to do financial fraud. So the focus here is on financial fraud. We don't speak about other type of fraud because fraud can be massive. There are so many types of fraud. It can be romance fraud. We were in Valentine's Day uh, uh, two weeks ago. It can be related to, uh, to emotional fraud. It can be related to family fraud. No, we are focusing on financial fraud. But that doesn't mean that you are going to be dealing with numbers. You are going to be dealing with different schemes, understanding these different schemes and understanding how can we prevent them? How can we catch individuals who are doing fraud? And then how can we 
uh, 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 implement the proper fraud risk management, conduct the proper fraud risk assessment, and investigating fraud after it's happening. So these are the areas that's covered in the exam. Now, one of the most interesting questions that I get when I am teaching this class, and I get so many of these questions by email or by WhatsApp or by phone call. And the question is like this. Iyad, is it possible to pass the exam without studying? I don't know. You tell me. What do you think? Someone will say, Iyad, really? I don't have time. Is there any shortcut? Someone will say, is there anyone who can take the exam on my behalf? Uh, is there a way for me to take the exam home where no one will see me and I can cheat in the exam? And my answer is very simple. Why you want to do that? What is your objective? Is it your objective at the end of the day to earn the certificate and say, oh, look, I'm certified for the examiner, but actually I don't have idea of the subject. Or is it your objective is to understand this concept, to use it in your professional work? Because remember, this is not marketing degree. This is not HR degree. This is a degree where you are going to be in a position to investigate fraud and uncover fraud and document your uh, you know, evidence and follow the proper legal process. So if you don't understand this process and you do mistake during investigation, and I know so many investigators who went to prison, because if you violate the privacy right of the person, or if you violate his human rights, or if you conduct interview in the pro uh, improper way or collect evidence illegally, all these ways can destroy your fraud case and can cause legal issues to you. So this is why this certificate is really serious. If you are trying to understand the subject, you need to study and understand the concepts for you to be able to pass the exam. It's not just like, oh, well, I'm going to go and memorize some information and then I will be able to clear the exam and pass the exam. Understanding the concepts are important for your professional career to be able to carry out your duties and to be able to uncover fraud inside your organization. So this is why it's impossible for someone to pass the exam without studying. So there is, there is no solution. Some will say, yeah, so if I just study without uh, uh, practicing the question, would I pass the exam? I said, no. Studying, it's the meaning, everything. What's the meaning everything? You need to read the book we will give you. You need to attend our training sessions. You need to answer all the questions in the CFE prop course in the uh, a test bank of ACFE. And then you need to review the information and you need to focus in the exam. This is the only way for you to pass the exam. Now, when I tell someone this answer, they say, yeah, okay, okay, okay. We understand what you are saying. Now, our next question, please. The final, final question. Sorry to bother you so much. I say, yes, what's the final question? They say, the final question is this. Is it guaranteed that I pass the exam? Is there exam pass guarantee? that you give me, that if I attend your class and I follow all your advice, I will pass the exam 100%. And I simply tell everyone, in life, there is no guarantee. There is no guarantee that you will pass the exam. Because at the end of the day, it's you who need to do the work. So you can't say, yeah, well, I'm going to attend your class and I'm going to answer the question and then I go to the exam and I will pass the exam. So what I tell them, I tell them 100% you will pass the exam with us if you follow all the steps we say. If you attend the classes, if you, your Arabic is not so, uh, your English is not so good, we have the classes delivered in Arabic and in English. We have summary videos delivered in Arabic and in English. So if your English is medium or good, you will be able to clear it. But if your English is so bad, maybe you need additional effort. I say at the end of the day, all our students, all the 3,000 students who passed the exam with us, they followed our method and it was guaranteed for them to pass the exam because they worked. So they say there's no luck here. You need to put the work on and it's guaranteed you would pass the exam. You say, yeah, but wait, wait, what do you mean guarantee? As simple as that. We are going to tell you in the class all the concepts that you need to study. And we are going to give you all the questions you need to practice. If you practice all these questions and you study all the concepts and then you take the exam and focus in the exam, it's impossible not to answer the correct answer because you know what is wrong, what is right, and you are going to answer the questions correctly. So is it guaranteed to pass the exam? The answer, if you study and you follow all our steps, it's guaranteed that you pass the exam, but you need to put the effort and you need to focus. 
But if you don't study, there is no guarantee that anyone will pass the exam. But with our class, we don't offer exam pass guarantee because we are telling you, if you study with us, like the 3,000 people over the last 10 years, they were able to clear the exam. Now, someone will say, yeah, okay, I understand that, but uh, should I put money and investment in the certificate? Is it really worth it? Well, based on the 2020 compensation guide for the ACFE, they show that usually if you are living, especially in Middle East, your salary will increase by average of 21% and globally around 17% if you earn the CFE certificate. So CFE definitely can add value to you and can help expand your horizon and job opportunities and increase your salary. And I know so many of my friends, once they earned the CFE, they were able to move to higher position. And at the same time, they were able to earn more money, especially if you are working in banks, in government, in consulting firms. So CFE definitely will add value to you, even if you don't do uh, uh, issues related to fraud. If you are working in internal audit or control, or you are handling compliance, definitely CFE can add value to you. So someone after that, they say, okay, yeah, now I'm really convinced. I think this certificate is suitable for me. But what are the subjects that we are gonna discuss in the class? I say, what we discuss in the class is three main subjects. We speak about corruption, about the different corruption schemes and how they will happen and how can we prevent them and what are the red flags. We speak about asset misappropriation. How can someone steal the cash or inventory from the organization? And we speak about financial statement fraud. How can someone manipulate the financial information during financial reporting? So these are the three areas that the ACFE will cover related to the different schemes that can happen. We are not gonna be discussing so many schemes outside these areas, but and on top of this, we are going to be speaking about the common frauds in different industry. So we are going to be speaking about insurance fraud. We are going to be speaking about banking fraud. We are going to be speaking about healthcare fraud. We are going to be speaking about consumer fraud, about cyber fraud. So we speak about how different fraud can happen in different industry. This is why someone will call me say, Yad, I work in retail. Is this relevant? Yes, because we speak about retail fraud. I work in insurance or I work in banking sector or government. So we are going to be covering all these areas in the different domains. So someone will say, so yeah, now I am really convinced, but let me ask you a question. Is it okay for me to buy the ACFE fraud manual and study on my own? Uh, uh, is it possible for me to do it? Or is it possible for me to just go, I, I have no time. I can just answer the question, the CFE prop course, and I take the exam. And then the question will be similar, then I pass the exam. And unfortunately, I tell them all the time, it's not possible. It's impossible for you to just take the book and study it and pass the exam, or just answer the question, the CFE prop course and pass the exam. Why? Because you need to have the right tools. If you are using the wrong tools for you to be able to study, to pass the exam is not gonna work. And unfortunately, so many individuals, this is what they do because they understand that the cost is expensive for the class they start to buy the manual or, or take shortcut or take some a summary and try to do it. And then at the end, when they take the exam, they fail. You need to have everything, the full package. You need to have the study guide. You need to have the manual. You need to have the uh, questions. You need to have the classes. You need to have the videos. So in that way, when, when you study everything, you prepare everything, it's guaranteed when you take the exam, you are going to pass the exam. And this is always you know, our discussion with all the students who took the class with us, that for you to be able to pass the exam, you need to have the right tools and you need to use them in the right way. And you know, over the last 10 years, like I said, these 3000 delegates, they were able to clear the exam with us with no issue. But we don't discuss issues only related to fraud. The class is called, the certificate is called Certified Fraud Examiner. The meaning we are gonna be discussing fraud but we are going to be discussing also investigation, understanding what are the investigation technique? How can you collect the information? How can you analyze the information? How can you write the fraud examination report? And we are going to be discussing, because fraud is a legal issue, we are going to be discussing the legal elements related to fraud. We are going to be discussing how fraud can be handled in civil law countries, in common law countries. How can we handle fraud when it's a civil case or when it's a criminal case? 
So we are going to be covering the area from fraud perspective, from investigation perspective, and from legal perspective as well. This is where you will go and understand how can you go and start your investigation? How can you assemble your investigation team? Understanding then how can you examine and collect the evidence related to your fraud investigation? Then understanding how can you conduct the proper interview when you are conducting an examination? It will cover all the different areas related to fraud examination. So what is the exam covering? The exam covering four areas. So this is where someone will ask me, yeah, so is it one exam? The answer is no. They are actually four exams. Every exam is 100 questions. You have two hours to pass the exam. They are multiple choice and true and false. If you want to study for it, you need to buy this fraud manual, 2000 plus pages, and good luck trying to read it all, which is very complicated and very technical. But what we are trying to do here, we are trying to give you a fast pass, an easy way for you to be able to clear the exam quickly, easily, so you don't waste time. So what are the, these four sections? They are the fraud prevention and deterrence. This is one section. Again, 100 questions, true and false, uh, and multiple choice, and you have uh, two hours. You have financial transactions, which is one exam. You have fraud investigation, and you have legal elements of fraud. Now, someone will ask me, do we need to take all of them in one day? No. You have 60 days. From the first time you take the first exam, you have 60 days to complete all of them for you to be able to be certified. If you don't complete any of them within 60 days, you have to pay uh, for the exam that you didn't take. So let's say you, you pass three of them and one of them you failed or you don't have time to do it, you can pay money to retake it. If you take the classes with us, the retake fees, if you fail or you don't have time to take it within 60 days, is $50. If you are taking it on your own without our classes, it's $100 to retake. So how many times you can take it? You can take it up to three times. After that, you need special permission from ACFE to retake it again. But from my experience, our students who took the classes with us, they finished the exam from first time with no issue. So you don't need to take it one time, two times, three times. This is waste of time. From first time, our students, they pass the exam. So the, this is the certificate. Some will say, yeah, is it possible for me to pass the exam in four days if it's four uh, subjects? The answer is yes. We have delivered the classes before COVID and our students passed the exam in four days. More than 1,000 students passed the exam within four days. Every day they attend our classes during the day. Then they take the exam in the evening. In four days, they are certified. So is it possible for me to do that? The answer is yes, 100% is possible for you to pass the exam, no issue. So again, we discuss the certified fraud examiner, their main responsibility is trying to investigate fraud. But as well, one of the responsibility of the certified fraud examiner is to help the organization in conducting fraud risk assessment, uh, uh, helping them in implementing fraud risk management to ensure that when someone is trying to do fraud, we will be able to catch them at early stages to stop fraud from happening. So this is why the focus is most of the time on investigation on fraud, but at the same time on fraud prevention and deterrence. How can we stop fraud from happening? Now, when I tell my students all these uh, ideas, they say, yeah, that's great. But what is the issue for me if you give me all of everything and I do self-study, just give me the, the uh, uh, material, give me the book, give me uh, uh, the questions, and I will do self-study. Well, I tell them, you can. If you want to spend six months trying to read the fraud manual and uh, uh, six months trying to answer the 1,500 questions and understand them on your own, you can. But the issue in life is like this. There are two things in life that we need to manage. Number one, time. And number two, knowledge. There is so much knowledge, 2,000 pages, and you have little time. You don't have so much time. So if you don't have enough time and you have so much knowledge, always what you do, you get a coach. Like anything in life, you are trying to go to the gym and you are trying to gain muscles. You can do it on your own and it will take you seven years to gain muscles or you can get a coach and the coach will help you get it in short period. You are trying to understand any subject in life. You are trying to understand how to lose weight. You are trying to improve your health, anything. You can do it on your own and you are going to do trial and error. 
and you will suffer and you waste time and sometimes you waste more money. Or you can find an easy, effective solution that can guarantee you to achieve the results. And this is why 10 years ago, we have a partner with the ACFE to launch the CFE exam review course. So the CFE exam review course will help you in a very proper way to uh, uh, guide you step by step to be able to understand all the subject in the CFE, which is important to understand how can you carry out these uh, duties and responsibility as a certified fraud examiner properly. Plus, it will help you in clearing and passing the CFE exam quickly and easily. So the CFE exam is the best solution for you if you are trying to take a shortcut, if you want to take a fast pass to be able to clear the exam. And we have two types of classes if you are interested in joining our classes. We have classes where we do it virtually over four weeks. And these are the classes that we have virtually coming up, which is every week we study one subject. Then on the weekend, you take the exam. See, so here it's very interesting. Three days in the evening from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Dubai time. You take the classes with us and on the weekend, you take the exam, finished. Next week, you take three days. Then on the weekend, you take the exam. So in this way, in uh, uh, four weeks, you will be certified. It's not like you take the class for four weeks and then after that, you take the exam. No, week by week, you take the classes, you take the exam. You take the classes, you take the exam. So in that way, you can be certified within four weeks. And someone will say, yeah, is this an effective way? Well, we have more than 2,000. <laughs> Imagine over just the last three years, 2,000 delegates who followed my program and they were able to finish the exam within four weeks. So my suggestion, if you don't have time and you have full-time job and you are very busy, try to make it simple and easy for you. Don't make it complicated. Every week, study in the evening, two hours, two hours, two hours, and then take the exam over the weekend. Easily, simply, you can clear the exam and you'll be certified. So someone will ask me, so yeah, if I enroll, what I will get as a part of the course? Well, if you enroll in our upcoming classes, and these are the, uh, our upcoming classes that we have uh, for uh, the uh, 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 CFE, we have classes uh, happening February 26 to March 22, or we have classes in May or in July or in September or in November, you will get the full package. So what's the meaning the full package? This is the full package. Let me go over it and then we come back. This is what you get. You get the full package. You get one year membership. If you are already a CFE member, we will pay for additional one year membership for you. You get the 2023 CFE exam review course, which is, is going to be uh, very helpful in helping you answer all the questions that you need. And there's 1,500 questions inside where they will cover most of the subjects that you are going to study in the exam. And you will get the 2023 Fraud Examiner's Manual. Uh, you will get uh, the CFE exam fees paid by us as a part of the package. You are going to get the secret, which is the CFE workbook, which is the summary. Rather than studying these 2,000 pages, you are going to study 75 pages highlighted with the questions in the exam. So you are not going to waste your time studying things that are not relevant and you are not going to get in the exam. You will get access to our 2023 live virtual classes that I shared the schedule with you. But in case you can't attend them live, the sessions are going to be recorded so you can watch them later. You will get the CFE flashcard app to download on your Android or iPhone. And you get 30 CBE certificate for attending the class that you can use for other certifications. So this is the package included for everything if you would like to join our virtual class. Someone will say, yeah, uh, uh, I'm interested in joining the classes, but do you know now February 26 to March is very short. I don't have time. No issue. If you enroll in our February class, we will give you access to May, July, September, November. No issue. Once you enroll with us, we will give you access to all our classes all over the year without any additional charge. But someone will say, yeah, but listen, the virtual class is very interesting, but I'm not really interested in the four weeks. Do you have anything where I can take the class over four days rather than four weeks? And the answer is yes. We have classes that delivered virtually and face-to-face -face over four days. And next class, we have March 13 to March 16. So you can attend this class with us in Dubai. 
we can fly over and attend it here over uh, in, in Dubai, in, in Arjan Rotana Media City, which is four days. Or if you can't, you can attend it virtually. And this is how the schedule of the class. Every day we have the classes from eight to five. And then in the evening, you can take the exam if you want. And we have delegates who decide to do it this way. They can attend the classes with us in Dubai, or they can attend it virtually. So in that way, you can see me, you can see the students in the class, and you can join our classes over four days. If you would like to allocate four days, take four days off and take it in this way. And this is another option that's actually effective. So you have both options. You can take it over four weeks in the evening, or you can do it during the day. So in case, for example, you are in Malaysia and you would like to take it during working hours and you would like to take it based on Malaysian time, this schedule will be perfect for you because in Malaysia, the classes will start from noon until maybe around, in that case, uh, 8 p.m. So you can allocate it or if you are in other country that the time is more suitable for you. So this is another option that you can take. So someone say, yeah, so what is the difference in the package? That you get the same package if you take our face-to-face -face classes, plus you get the face-to-face the -face classes. So you get the virtual classes, you get the recorded session, plus you are gonna get our face-to-face. Uh, -face. So the package like this, for the live uh, 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 virtual classes or live in-person classes, you will get everything the same, except for the uh, virtual classes, you don't get our face-to-face -face classes. And the, the discount of the price will be $2,197. But if you are attending our face-to-face -face classes, you will pay discounted price $2,999. Now, someone say, yeah, wait, wait, but I already bought the CFE exam prop course long time ago. If you bought it within the last two years, we'll give you additional $400 discount. If you have already paid for a membership, we will pay for your membership next year. So you are not going to lose anything. So we are here to help you clear the exam in a, as simple a, a, as possible. And if you are in Saudi Arabia, Bernamish Hadaf, Hadaf program will give you full refund for the full cost that you pay related to the class, up to 10,000 uh, riyal. So we are so happy that we have delivered over the last 10 years CFE programs to all these organizations. All these organizations, they trusted us and they send us staff from their organizations to attend our classes. At the same time, all these uh, banks from different uh, uh, you know, uh, countries in the Middle East and different organizations, they send their staff to attend our classes and they were able to clear the exam within four days or within four weeks. And you can do it as well. We have been working with the ACFE for the last nine years. Now, this year, we are celebrating 10-year anniversary, anniversary soon, after a couple of months. We have been working with ACFE for the last 10 years now, and we have more than 3,000 delegates who passed the CFE exam with us. So if you are interested in passing the exam, either virtually, we have you know, so many delegates who passed the exam with us virtually, or if you would like to pass the exam with us face-to-face, -face, these are the delegates, more than 1,000 pass the exam with us face-to-face. -face. You can attend our classes. Our classes, usually they are sold out. We have massive demand for our face-to-face -face classes. You can attend them virtually. You can attend them face-to-face. -face, and you can clear the exam with us in a simple and easy way. At the end of the day, what we said is very important. You need to have the proper tool. And the proper tool for you to pass the CFE exam is having the CFE prop course, attending the classes, studying the information, and then taking the exam and passing the exam. So your success is based on following the proper steps for you to be able to prepare easily, simply to pass the CFE exam. Taking shortcut at the end will not help you to guarantee that you are going to pass the exam. Shortcut is not effective way for you to pass the exam. And like we said, there's so much knowledge and there's so much little time. If you would like to be able to quickly and easily earn this CFE credential, my suggestion that always try to invest in yourself because the best investment is in yourself. Someone will say, you know, what I will get is not about what you will get. It's about what you are going to become. Always remember that. Someone is going to say, yeah, what I will earn. It's not what you will earn. Think about after studying this information, 
And after earning this credential, what you are going to become, how your mind and thinking is going to change, and how the certificate is going to add value to your career and your representation in your organization, between your, uh, uh, your friends, your uh, uh, professionals, your community, your uh, you know, society. So I am here always to help you in, in uh, uh, your process in becoming certified for the examiner. You can always check our website, openthinking.ae, and you can register in our recent classes that we have. And you can connect with me on LinkedIn with any uh, uh, additional information that you require. Thank you so much for attending this session. And I hope I was able to guide you step by step in understanding the value of the certificate and the proper way for you to study and prepare and pass the CFE exam. Good luck on your journey. And I will see you at the finish line.